Welcome to part two. So you can see here that we're still kind of waiting on these agent installations to happen. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to try to do this manually. So we're going to go manual pairing. We're going to click download. And so that is our pairing codes. Next thing we have to do is go and grab the client. Okay, we're in our resources here for <clears throat> for the beta access and so right from here I'm downloading the agent beta and the PowerShell scripts that we're going to use to do this manual pairing is obviously the pairing so let's hit it. So we're just downloading both these things, getting everything all good. I'm going to extract that zip file. And then we're going to copy the exe into that directory. As we execute the onboard PS1, let's unblock that file just in case. If it makes it easier. And now we try to. Now we're going to execute the command we need to onboard things. Look at that. When you do it, it makes everything easier. Grab that HTC pairing token. That goes there. Actually, misspoke. That's actually the tenant ID. We're going to grab the token, which is a little bit longer. Which is obviously why we test. You can see here that we're starting to have some stuff happen, as you can see that horizon pop-up that was down there. Let's see if we see anything here yet. So you can see here, we see the agent getting installed, which is good. It means that we're getting ourselves in relatively good shape. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to restart this machine and see if that completes the agent installation. Now, it's perfectly okay that we still see pending agent install for my machine as I've confirmed that the agent is installed and the logs look good. So on our next step, we're going to show the actual connecting with the Horizon client.